Welcome to the super fast touch designer tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll create a black carbon fiber texture using these same techniques from my previous tutorials. Just follow the steps to achieve the desired outcome and feel free to tweak the parameters as you go. All right, let's jump right in. Part one, network. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I always start by building the network before tweaking any parameters. I'm going to start by adding one of my own components called pseudo liquid. If you want to know how I made it, check out the first tutorial. I'll leave the link in this video. Keep in mind that this component is essentially the same network encapsulated, unifying all parameters in a single panel for easier and more dynamic manipulation, preventing you from getting lost in the network. Okay, let's create a constant and connect it to the only input of the pseudo liquid component. Next, we'll create an edge and follow it with a composite where we'll connect the output of this container. Don't worry if you don't see anything yet, we'll get to that later. Create a displace and connect both outputs of the previous operator to each input of the displace. Add a level. We'll grab another one of my custom components, which is very similar to the default one in the image filter section of Touch Designer. However, this feedback component has some extra parameters for manipulating the image. Go to image filters in the palette and drag the convolve, connecting the feedback to this new operator. Create a level and below it, you can add a constant, followed by creating a composite to connect both operators. After the composite, drag another convolve and also create another level. At the end of the sequence, create another composite and connect the last two operators. Create another level. Finally, add an out to preview everything we're doing. Remember to select all the tops and in the common tab, set the output resolution to parent panel size. This ensures that the size of everything we're designing matches our master container. Part two, parameters. Now let's parameterize each operator. Let's start with the pseudo liquid component. Copy the following parameters. For the translate, I'm using the classic script abstime.seconds to animate the noise inside this container, which corresponds to the 4D translate. If you're lost, I recommend watching the first tutorial where I build this network from scratch and turn it into a customized component. If you're in a hurry, you can find these components on my Patreon. Okay, let's return to the pseudo liquid component and set the second noise to zero. For the first constant we created, set it to black. Select the edge and copy these parameters. Go to the composite and select the blend mode glow. Select the displace and copy the following parameters. Go to the first level we created and copy these parameters. Perfect. In the feedback, use the following parameters. Let me know in the comments if you'd like a simple tutorial on how to create this customized feedback component. Now we have a clearer idea of what we're generating. Go to the second level and copy these parameters. Select the second composite and use the blend mode negate. Leave the convolve intact. Select the third level and copy these parameters. Go to the third composite and use average for the blend mode. Select the fourth level and use these parameters. We're super close now. Let's go back to the pseudo liquid component and set the blur option using these values. Nice, use these values in the displace. Part three, play and explore. 
And there we have it, this carbon fiber-like texture. I'm going to slow down the animation a bit to better appreciate the texture. You can also use the mirror to get a different feel for this texture, although personally I prefer it without the mirror in this case. The colors play an important role in this texture because they create these lines that simulate an RGB delay, giving the texture a unique depth. You can even completely modulate the color. If you want to manipulate the texture more dramatically, use the amplitude and offset of the noise. Again, if you want to know in detail how to make this component, you can visit the video I'll link on the screen. Feel free to play with the parameters as much as you like. Let me know if you managed to create a contrasting variation of this texture. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you made it to the end, I have a reward for you. You can download two packs of 30 VJ clips completely free from my Patreon account. I hope you find them useful. I'll leave the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon.